Good morning, David. So you went to the school yesterday. What did you gather? What did you find? Finish us with them. So yesterday I made a visit to Adria to um, find more about the incident that happened. First, I visited the Adria Government Hospital where about 49 of the students who were injured were receiving treatment. Now, uh, before in my presence, the hospital officials discharged 29 of these students after they said that they've treated them to a stage that they can allow these students all to go home and further the treatment from home. And there were others who were still there. One of them with a severe fracture in the leg was also transferred to, referred to a different facility within the enclave. So there are still some students who are on admission, according to the medical officials or professionals. They are waiting for their x-rays um, and upon further um, investigation of from what they see from the, the history, they will allow, either allow the students to go home and continue treatment or um, they, will continue, they, will, they will keep them at the health facility. So um, what I can report now is that all students are out of danger. They are stable. And um, they are, the hospital officials at Edria Government Hospital continue to give these students treatment uh, from what I gather, the, from the, in the, on the first day, there were 46 students who were brought in immediately when the incident happened that Monday. Um, yesterday, they kept bringing others. Three more students were brought to the hospital for treatment. Now, um, when you go to the school... Be academic, before, before, before you go to the school itself, so what you're saying is that the, now the number of students who went to the hospital amounts to 49. Yes, the number the, the number we have as of yesterday mm. evening okay. was forty nine. All right. Now, now tell me this: this uh, student who has this fracture that has to be referred to a different facility. Uh, who is this student? So it's a female student, and she's one of the affected persons. Um, the hospital will not give further details about who exactly this student is, uh, but uh, what they are saying is that she's it's a female student who was also part of the people who were injured in that um, accident or in, 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 in who were part of the people who were injured. So um, due to the nature of her injury, she, she has to be transferred for further treatment in a different facility. Did, did you see her yourself? No, I didn't see her. Can I hazard uh, as, and say that she's the one whose voice we played, who says her leg is broken, was crying? For, for, for that, I cannot um, authenticate it, but um, from what the um, medical professional or the medical superintendent at the hospital told me she she had an injury in the leg which was quite severe these injured students who have been discharged and all that how would you say their spirit or mood was like uh, it's these, these these are students who you know when you see them you see that they still have some fear even those i met in the school who are on campus who were not injured they, they do not look like you know, uh, they don't look happy. They still harbor some fear, and um, you know, from some conversation I had with some of the students, they tell me even when they go to some of these classrooms which are not in good shape, they are they they, they you know they shiver, mm. they shiver because they are still in school. Academic work has resumed. They've gone to their classrooms. So when you are in one of these classrooms, you see it's not fit enough for um, students to. Um, study in. They still have some fear. They still shiver. Uh, they, they tell me they are not able to concentrate because uh, they think from what they saw and what they witnessed, it's possible that there, there could be a repetition of that. So what is happening now is that the teachers and uh, the headmaster, they've taken the headmistress, they've taken the role of you know psychologists and they are trying to psych these students up so that. The, the fears that they have, you know, they, they get to a point that they, they, they would, these fears will leave them, then they, they continue their studies. But the, from what I saw in the school, some of the structures uh, are not fit enough for students to study in. They, are, they, they look like pavilions, uh, if, if you know, the uh, concrete built halfway and it's being supported by some wooden uh, pillars. And some of these classrooms have been moved like that. So, you know, some some of the students say this is the same way that the um, the dining hall looked like. And th there were some cracks and shakes in, these, in the dining hall. 
and also they are seeing steam in their classrooms. So, you know, they, they see some resemblance that make them fear that these classrooms could cave in any moment from now. All right, so if, if you're with us on Facebook, which I pray that you are, we want to take you through step by step some of the th- things that we, we have gathered. So, Joel, yes, pause. No, Joel, go, go, go one step back for me. Yeah, no, no. Yes, this one. Pause, pause this, this, this one for me. Let us join us on Facebook right now. This is a classroom. This is a classroom for students of a German Anglican Senior High. This is a classroom. And this is where they sit and they study. And Nanaya, who went on the ground, says to us that, listen, it is similar to the structure that collapsed on Monday. I'm sure that uh, those ones will not have the pillars on the side, but that, that's, that's for you to watch on, on, on Facebook. So, Nanaya, based on what you've said so far, it brings to mind what the lady who was crying said, that school will be Is that what it is? Be school Exactly. Um, from what I was able to gather, there's school was completely destroyed. So, from a casual viewpoint, these structures that you saw, how strong or solid are they? Are there fears? Do you have fears that it could also collapse when heavy winds come? Um, no, we'll I, do, that. I, I do not have the enough knowledge about structures, or I cannot justify the structure integrity of these uh, buildings. Mm. But if if I, I I speak as a layman. Um, you know, even for nothing at all, if you look at the the, the kind of um, rainstorm that we are experiencing, especially in Nigeria and its environment, from what I I, I, I gather from NADMU, uh, there there are chances that Nigeria will experience a lot of these um, rainstorms. And if you look at the kind of roofing and how old they are, it's possible that even if these buildings do not cave in. There are chances that the the roofs the roofs will be ripped off when there is one of these heavy rainstorm in 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 the area in these coming days. So there's need for you know urgent steps to be taken. To when you, when you go there, was was school in session? Because as part of the report that you brought the video, I can see students eating in the trees. Was school in session? Was class in session? Yes. Yes. Um, School is in session. Academic work had resumed. When I when I went to school, when I went to the school, it was time for lunch. So most of them had come for lunch, and um, after their lunch, they were also bailed to go back into their classrooms. So from and also from what I gather from the district chief executive and the headmistress, academic work was made to resume um, the morning after the incident. So school is in session. Those who were not injured are still in school and are going um, and are going about their normal academic duty. Mm. Nanea, thank you very much for your time with us this morning. We're grateful to you. Now we've been joined on the phone lines now by a 